Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties in person, online, and with art kits. So today I'm going to be doing kind of a um, version of this, but I'm gonna be doing a giant sign of this, as well as using a couple of the different stencils from Essential Stencil. So I'm gonna be using the Freedom Stencil, and I'm going to be using one of the flower stencils as well. So I'm excited to show you this project. So as you come on, go ahead and say hi, let me know you're here. And then I'm gonna show you the first step. So I have a ginormous porch sign and it's pretty big. It's just four pieces of wood put together. Hey guys, good morning, how are y'all? Thank y'all for coming on and telling me where you're from. So I'm gonna use this really messy brush and a little bit of water and I'm going to start putting my stripes first, okay? So let me see if I can turn my um, words around. Okay, there we go. Yay! All right, hey guys, good morning. All right, so for all of y'all, um, I am on the essential stencil page, right? I just wanna make sure I'm in the right spot. Um, so I'm gonna just kinda add in some, some colors here, and those of y'all that are um, teaching paint parties, you know if you're teaching paint parties, especially once we start opening up in person, you'll want to make sure you have the stencils you need. So this is going to be like a 4th of July one. Hey guys, good morning. How are y'all doing? So I'm just going to do stripes all the way down. It's kind of some messy, nothing major, just kind of messy. This this part does get kind of red all over your, <laughs> it can get all over your, your place if you want. Oh good, yeah, we have people from all over. Good morning, good morning. Okay, so I'm just kind of going all the way over. Just red, and you're gonna see, we're doing kind of a, a patriotic, but I'm gonna be adding some essential stencil touches to it. So we're gonna do something really cool for for 4th of July, Memorial Day, Labor Day, kind of all mixed into one. So I'm using a couple shades of red. And just kind of getting some stripes in there. And I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. I want them to be pretty messy. I don't want it to look too much. Oh, Val Valerie, I wish you could get me some coffee. Um, I woke up too late this morning. We were up really late last night. And I woke up too late to get my coffee. So right after this live, I'm going to run and do my coffee run. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of the blue. I'm going to mix just a, a hint of black into this. Oh, good, Tina. Tina says she painted that picture the other day. Yeah, we're going to add some of the freedom sign to it. So I hope y'all really like it once it's done. So this is just some bluish with the black. It's like a, um, a true blue with black. Hey guys, hey Sherry. Yeah, and um, oh good, everybody's like, how's everybody doing? Yeah, definitely talk amongst yourselves. What was that? Something, was that Alexa? <laughs> I just got an Alexa in my um, art studio because I usually play music from the kitchen. And so um, I got an Alexa from the art, for the art studio. And so now she's, she's always trying to answer questions sometimes when I'm, when I'm not even asking them. <laughs> okay, I'm just getting some blue in here, making it kind of messy. Again, the whole point of this is to make it pretty messy. Okay. And then we're going to start adding some white in here. So I'm going to use a different brush, this brush. And this is just one of those you get from Lowe's or Home Depot. Hey, guys. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Is everybody doing okay in their part of the world? You know, I know um, painting, I don't know about y'all, but I have been painting so much more in the past 60 days, and it has been Awesome. Anybody else been painting a lot in the past 60 days? Okay, so this you got to be careful because if you go too close, it's going to start making it pink. I actually want to, to dirty this up just a little. I'm going to make my white just a little 
little more rustic looking. So I'm putting a little bit of brown, more white, and I'm just gonna grab it. Hey, Karen, hey guys. Just so it's a little bit more like vintage, and then we'll add some scrapes and stuff in a minute. But I wanna get this background on, so then I can add my freedom sign. And if y'all have never bought the Freedom Ring sign, have, have you already purchased this one? If you haven't, there's a link in the top. So we're gonna have this whole sign, have it freedom all the way down. And then I'm going to add some really cool flowers to it from Essential Stencil, as well as a really neat, um, just kind of to make it a little bit more patriotic. And I'll show y'all that at the end. And then for all of y'all on here, if you've never heard of me, I would love for you to go like my page or follow me, Texas Art and Soul. So I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties online, in person, and through art kits. So um, I run a whole, um, whole bunch of women we have where I teach them all about using what they're creating with their stencils, with all of this stuff, for their different art kits. So if you want a um, free gift from me, I can put the link. It's a... Um, kind of like a checklist for what to do to make your first online paint party. So if you are interested in that, just put yes in the comments. And if we get a lot of yeses, then I'll, I'll go back and add that link. Oh, thank you so much, Jill. Thank you, Sue. Okay, I need some more white. Some more white, this is a big sign. Iowa, Iowa's in the house. People from all over. I love seeing where y'all are all from. Oh, good. Yeah, we do have some people wanting that. Okay, so I'll make sure to add it. It's just a, um, a free kind of paint party checklist that I'll get for you. Oh, good. So I like that sign already. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to make something patriotic when I was trying to come up with an idea. Um... Elizabeth says, love my, my Alexa. I gotta say it soft. She did scare my hubby half to death last week. He was home alone talking to one of the dogs, Stella. Oh my gosh, and then Alexa answered him. <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? It's so, so funny whenever she comes in. She'll say some random stuff, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure this AI has taken over our house. Anybody else starting to feel that way? Okay, just adding in some white. And you could also take like a palette knife and I might scrape on here too. I'm just going to, some of that blue I got on my, my brush, I'm just going to use it to my advantage and add into it. It's kind of fun too when you just go for it, even if it's, you know, messy. Okay, so I'm going to have some white dots up top. So I'm gonna just use this brush, the same messy brush, and then I'm just going to dab onto my white. And just to kind of give it the idea of stars, we have, um, with Essential Stencil, there are stars like on this one. So you could technically like make it really, really, you know, going like that if you want, but um, but I just want to get the effect. Again, this flag is obviously not, not the exact way you would do a flag, but I just wanted the, the look of it, right? The look of a flag, so when I put my stencil over it, we kind of have that base. All right, so I'm gonna dirty up the red just a tad. So let me get this bigger brush back. And I want to get a little bit of some brownish color. Let me use dark chocolate. So I'm going to use just a little bit of dark chocolate. Um, and what size board am I using? This is, it's four boards put together that I ordered from Craft Creations. And it is a 14 by 36, 46. 48, 14 by 48. Can somebody type that, please? 14 by 48. And um, so I'm gonna dirty up the, the red just a little by mixing a little bit of brown into the red. 
so it doesn't come across so so bright red like it's not a Christmas red that I'm trying to get the look here okay all right so now we're gonna put our stencil on oh thank you Lisa thank you Mary okay so um, now I'm gonna put my stencil on and I'm gonna hit this with a quick blow dryer so that the freedom doesn't just ruin like all the background. Um, so if y'all don't mind, talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. So go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. This will just take me a minute. dry and as you're doing this at home of course you could you know wait just a little bit longer but I'm gonna go ahead and place my freedom and I'm going to do these in black with just a little um just a little extra line on it let me make sure my flowers are gonna go okay before I put my last part Okay, so I'm gonna add my flowers first before I, I add the rest of that. So let me go ahead and do a quick blow dry right there so I can add my flowers. I don't want the flowers to, to go too, I mean, I guess it could get a little mixed up. That would be okay. Get a little mixed with that red so this one this stencil comes with this so I love both of these but for this project I wanted to keep um I wanted to add like a little hint of blues down here and I didn't want to do the sunflowers although I am a person who's like you you know you can paint you know whatever color any color right but for this to look really patriotic um, I just wanted to to do these hints of of blues into this flower, and it might mix a little and have a little bit of purple, but that's okay. We're gonna kinda see what it does. And again, some of y'all that are out there that use stencils a lot, um, you can make this like as crisp and clean as you want. And um, I'm just not that type of painter. I'm more of a like, this is art therapy for me, and this is how I love to paint. Like, I just like, the more rustic, like, just kind of, I don't know. I don't know what to call it. What would y'all call it? Um, I just kind of like that imperfect look. And so I don't try, I mean, I've, I've actually taught paint parties before where um, people have made it very exact, but I just, I'm just not that person. <laughs> I don't know. I guess everybody has their own kind of style, right? But what I love so much about essential stencils is that when I go to my paint parties and bring um, a bunch of stencils like this, and I'm gonna add some brown into that, that um, blue, so it makes it a little bit different. But what I love so much when I go to, um, to parties like this and I bring a ton of my stencils, 
um, everybody's sign will turn out a little bit different because they'll use a different background or they'll use a different um, stencil for this or that. So it's just really kind of a cool, cool thing to see. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this. All right, so now I have kind of that bluish that's gonna match up into there. And I'm gonna set this. My art studio is a mess. Oh my gosh, it is so messy in here. Okay, now I'm gonna move to black paint, okay? So black, let me find my black paint. And make sure sometimes with your acrylics, make sure you shake them really good. <laughs> yeah, no offloading. Yeah, somebody was like, you're offloading. And I was like, I don't even really don't, I don't think I know what that word means. And, and somebody I think was heckling me. Come on, people. Let's not heckle people on lives. That's not nice. Be nice. <laughs> and I, um, I was like, I don't know what that term means. And so, um, so everybody was kind of educating me and and helping me with that. But yeah, I do this dab real fast. <laughs> the flower stencils with um, essential stencil. So you get this one and this one with essential stencil. I'm sure they're putting in the links. You can. I would love for you to use my affiliate link. That would be awesome. It's in the um, in the comments. You can use that in the, um, it's at the top of the link. That would be amazing. We appreciate you so, so much and appreciate Essential Stencil for letting us come on here and share their awesome products because they have saved me a lot of vinyl cutting definitely over the past few years, that's for sure. I still cut vinyl for a lot of things, but now I use a lot of their stuff. I'm going to hit this for just a second. dryer and like I said I teach women how to make money teaching online paint parties in-person paint parties as well as art kits and um, when you're doing a big sign like this in person you can have a blow dryer that's fine but I do want to warn you don't have a bunch of blow dryers <laughs> we I was at a paint party one time and we had like a the person hosting it had a margarita machine and um, because we had like three blow dryers going, it um, literally like blew out the fuse and then everybody's margaritas, they're like, what? The margarita machine. <laughs> okay, oh, thank you, Debbie. That's so sweet. Okay, so I'm just using these messy, you can get these at Michael's, at Lowe's, and they're a couple bucks. I use these all the time for stenciling. Again, I think it's because, um, my personality type, I don't really have like a real like person, like um, perfectionist personality type. So some of this like right now might be driving y'all crazy because I'm just dabbing away with this messy brush. Um, I know Essential Stencil sells some like real, I probably, probably need to order some. I'll probably use them and never do this again, never dab again. <laughs> but I, I tend to like just kind of go in and again, it's, it's for therapy. And the reason I paint like this is because it's like, it lets out my aggression. I can, you know, feel that I'm putting something down onto the wood. And it's just, I don't know, it's just a good feeling. So whatever way you paint, don't ever apologize for it. Just paint the way you love to paint because um, you're gonna have your own style because of it. And you're going to have your, you know, everything doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Even in the stencil world, you know, and it doesn't have to be. And you'll see just in a second, even with all of this messiness I'm doing, I can clean up lines with just a quick little, little brush technique that I do to add like a, um, a highlight line or a shadow line. And I just kind of dab in there. And again, just makes me happy. Makes me happy to paint it this way. <laughs> paint however it makes you happy. Didn't Bob Ross say happy little trees a lot? 
I'm sure he would definitely approve of this, wouldn't he? Because he's like, it's your world. You just paint how you want to paint. This is your world. Gotta love Bob Ross. Sometimes when I'm sick, I'll lay in bed and I'll just watch him because he's on Netflix now. And um, so I'll just watch his paintings. And man, it's so amazing what that guy can do in 30 minutes or less. While playing with squirrels, while talking, I mean, he's just like, it's just your world. You just paint whatever you want in your world. You want a house over there? Well, let's just paint you one. And his voice is so relaxing. I could just watch him for hours. So yeah, try that if you're sick. <laughs> Easier to try not to be perfect. Yes, definitely. Life's too short to be perfect, right? Okay, so we have that. And then um, freedom. And then I did not do the let on there. So I'm going to lift this up. I'm not going to do the stars. Again, you don't have to. I'm just going to have the freedom. So I'm going to pull this up. Okay, and then with this um, sign, you actually do get let on top and then freedom ring on the bottom. But I'm choosing not to do that part on here. I just wanted to say freedom. And then if y'all have not got the God Bless America one yet, that's a really good one too. So make sure. I always tell my paint party girls, like if you're going to be getting this stuff for your events, like always get it a season ahead. Um, because what happens is if you wait until it's season, it's too late. So you got to get stuff a season ahead. So I think um, the spring bunny sign. So I did a, a spring. Oh, I'll show it to you. I think it's right here. Yeah. So I did this and then essential stencil, um, you know, not just because of this painting, but because of lots of paintings had um, the spring had went out of stock. So, um, so I started telling my girls because like this was a video I did that went viral um, so I think a lot of orders were coming because of the video being seen so much. So you got to be careful. Like if you are in the paint party world, you know, doing this kind of, of, um, you know, making extra money doing this, you always want to be a season ahead. So like, um, you know, we're, we have Christmas in July. A lot of times we have fun stuff for Christmas in July and I am already, um, already have stuff that, you know, I use for my vendors for that specific thing because I don't want to all of a sudden try to June June 20th, which should be okay in June, but Christmas in July just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna just take a one inch flat and just back and forth, and then I'm just going to kind of just draw a little bit of a, eh, I might need to do a smaller brush. I'm gonna go with a liner brush, okay? So I'm gonna use just a little bit, see if y'all can see that. Because I want, especially, let me get this paint over here. I want this freedom to really stand out even on the top part. So just a real quick, with a liner brush, I'm just gonna Hit just a couple of lines right beside where we did the stencil. And this can also, for those of you that are more like, I want to be exact, you can kind of clean it up during this process. All right, and then if those of you are ready to order the stencil, make sure you click on the link in the description. Um, I would so appreciate the affiliate link. Um, we have one right there in the description. And then you can um, get started on your own. I'm gonna do a little bit down here. Just a little bit, not a lot, just a hint. Not a full outline, but just enough to make, make it show up, right? Man, I'm gonna show you these colors kind of up close. It looks really cool, the blending that I, that I didn't even mean to happen. <laughs> I'll show you. All right.
right? I'm almost finished, and then I'll pick three winners. Um, and then any of y'all that are interested in learning more about how to teach in-person paint parties, online paint parties, all of those wonderful things, please go check out my site, Texas Art and Soul. Um, Texas Art and Soul Facebook, we have tons and tons of videos, um, lots of good stuff, lots of information on art kits and how to do this and actually make money. Um, so many people are like, well, right now you can't really make money doing that. I beg to differ. So my members are making anywhere from two kits to 1,800 art kits, not $1,800 worth, 1,800. <laughs> so it has been insane to see um, how many of them actually, um, not just making money doing art kits right now, but actually being able to provide for their family when maybe they had lost their job or something like that. So um, I just never underestimate the power of creativity and how much people need it in their life, especially during this time. Okay, guys, so um, I'm gonna show you the, the full sign. Once this dries, I probably will put a little glitter on it and spray it with a polyurethane, but I do wanna show you. Ah, I dropped it, hold on. Did I mess up the F? Oh, just a little, just a little. <laughs> okay, so let me try to show you the full sign. I might have to get my camera pointed this way. Let me see. I put my fingers in the F. Dang it. Not good. Okay, let me see if I can show you this way. Okay. Can you see it? The whole thing? Let me know with a heart or a like if you can see this. I want to see if you can see the whole thing. Okay? So somebody put it, I think it was 48 inches tall. And then just a little highlight line. And I want to show you up close real quick how, like, by that E... See how kind of the colors start to blend? It almost looks like a sunrise, doesn't it? What do y'all think? Do you like it? Oh, my site. If somebody wants to type it in, it's Texas Art and Soul. Texas Art and Soul, you can find out a ton of information about teaching paint parties, all of that goodness. Texas Art and Soul. So I have a Facebook page and a website. Okay, so those stencils that we used, um, were the Freedom Stencil, as well as I used this that comes in a, a two-pack. It was the Flower Stencils, as well as the Sunflower. So definitely go check those out, grab those today. I grabbed onto the F <laughs> a little bit and got some of that. So thank y'all so much for being here. And I'm just gonna quickly pick three people. Again, um, if you wanna just start typing in um, you know, comments, I'll pick, and guys, so Heather Frank Franklin Clear, I don't know if you've won before, you may have, and if you have, I am sorry, but you've won again. So Heather Franklin Clear, the next person I'm gonna pick is, let's see, I'm just gonna kind of randomly scroll, um, Kathy Humphreys Lowry, Hathry, Kathy Humphreys Lowry, so I don't know if you've won before, but you're the winner, so good luck. So let's have some grace with people, and let's also congratulate other people, and not be so mean if you don't get selected. So, um, and another person, let's see, we have um, Christine Woodtreen Cow. Christine Woodtreen Cow. Again, I don't know if you've won before. <laughs> I don't know. So those of y'all that get very upset about not winning, please give the ambassadors, Essential Stencil Ambassadors, a little grace. We are literally just trying to create a project for you and select some names. Um, we're not trying to be facetious. <gasps> I said a big word, and I usually am not good at saying big words. Um, and I know Essential Stencil and their team are so giving so giving i mean how many companies every single time do that like that's insane and um, so i just want y'all to just give them some grace and give us some grace we're really really not trying to um not trying to pick certain people i promise facebook lives are terrifying enough to go in there and try to do this so let's just congratulate the three winners and those of you that i did call if you will message a sensible essential stencil and they would be kind enough to send you out some free stencils and in the meantime make your own sign we would love for you to make your own sign and use the freedom and put it on your porch proudly all right guys if you want to find out more about me go to texasartandsoul.com or texasartandsoul on facebook y'all have a great day bye